Now let's move on to discuss the structure of heart muscle, including its contractile fibers and intercalated discs. The myocardium or heart muscle is an involuntary striated muscle found in the walls of the heart. Myocardial cells are separated by intercalated discs. These are specialized cell-to-cell -cell adhesion sites that facilitate the coordinated contraction of the heart muscle. The myocardium contains contractile fibers and a lot of mitochondria for energy production. The intercalated discs. One special feature of myocardium or heart muscle is the presence of intercalated discs. These play an important role in functionality of heart muscle. These discs are interlocking membranes linked by cell junctions, called desmosomes. These connect adjacent cells together. They allow the electrical signals to flow rapidly from cell to cell. They also have gap junctions that allow direct movement of ions to help with the propagation of the signal. The gap junctions help to spread depolarization in the heart muscle in order to coordinate simultaneous contractions. The cardiac cycle. Let's use this chart to describe the changes in the cardiac cycle. You'll notice pressure and volume on the left axis and a number of tracings on the chart. Aortic pressure, atrial pressure, the pressure in the ventricles, the volume in the ventricles, and along the bottom is the electrocardiogram. This graph depicts the different stages of the cardiac cycle. The pressure within the aorta and the atrial pressure are also included. The volume in the ventricle during the different stages is included and can be compared to the corresponding changes in ventricular pressure. The cardiac cycle. The cardiac cycle can be divided into five stages. Stage 1, heart at rest, atria and ventricular diastole. Atria are filling up with the blood from the veins. The atrioventricular or AV valves are open and blood flows freely from the atria to the ventricles. Stage 2. Atrial systole. The atria contract to complete the filling of the ventricles with blood. This begins after depolarization of the sinoatrial or SA node. Stage 3. Stage 3 is early ventricular contraction. As the atria contract, Depolarization is moving to the atrioventricular node, then it moves to the bundle of His. Ventricular systole begins as muscle contractions. The atrioventricular valves close due to the upward force of blood. Stage 4. Stage 4 is ventricular ejection. Contraction of the ventricles generates enough pressure to open the semilunar valves. This pressure pushes blood through the arteries. High pressure in the arteries drives the blood through the body. Stage 5 is ventricular relaxation. After contraction, the ventricles relax and the ventricular pressure decreases. As pressure decreases, this causes blood to flow backwards and this flow closes the semilunar valves. 